a little different. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, it's Matt Barrows. Um, it seemed like the 49ers uh, doubled down on yards after the catch guys in the draft. And then just yesterday with, uh, with Jordan Reed, um, I was wondering if that caught your eye also. And what are your impressions of uh, the new pass catchers that have been added to the mix uh, this season? Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's been a productive offseason just, uh, you know, getting new guys, uh, the guys that we've already had. Uh, you know, working with them and even getting some guys back from injury. So it's it's a great group. It's going to be a competitive uh, camp. And, you know, going into the season, we'll see uh, who kind of separates themselves from the crowd. But I think whenever you get more weapons like that, the more competition you uh, you add to different position groups and things like that, it, it only adds to, uh, to better play. Hey, Jimmy, it's Grant Cohn. How does your knee feel now compared to at this time last year? Two-parter. First, how does your knee feel now compared to last year? And, and two, do you expect to have more mobility or maybe velocity than you did last season just because you're another year removed? Uh, yeah, well, my knee definitely – I mean, it's it's night and day compared to where I was last year this time. This this time last year was uh, more so getting back into, um, you know, being in a live pocket, having live bullets flying around me and getting used to that. So well, we're past that. I haven't really thought about it in a long time, but – as far as the uh, mobility and things like that, you know, it's it's whatever Kyle calls for. I think uh, my knee's in a good position to, you know, it's able to do whatever it needs to do at this point. Hey, Jimmy, everybody, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of people seem to have opinions about your game. I want to know what your opinion is of how you played in 2019 and what's been your focus between the lines to get better this season, what have you really concentrated on? But first off, how do you feel you played last year? Uh, you know, I thought it was a productive year. Uh, obviously, you know, didn't finish the way we wanted it to, but I think there was a lot of things that uh, that went well for us. You know, th a thing that I always take pride in is uh, being an accurate quarterback. Uh, the more accurate you are, the the more yards after catch your guys could go get for you. So in our offense, it's, uh, you know, it's putting the ball in the right spot, putting it in the, the right timing of the play. And uh, it's little things like that that go a long way in our offense. So I think, uh, you know, I was, I was pretty happy with everything, how it went. And, you know, like I said, we just want, want the, uh, the last game of the season to turn out a little differently. Uh, hey, Jimmy, it's Cam. Um, what are your thoughts about just playing the whole uh, this season with the COVID-19 hanging over everything? And then, um, I mean, how did that – impact your off season and, and how did you go about kind of alleviating those concerns it was uh obviously it was a different off season got uh you know a lot of new things new weight room at the house so there's some positives that come out of it but just uh you know everyone's dealing with it and it's uh it's one of those things you got to adapt as, as quickly as possible and you know it's going to be different uh we know that going into it and it's just um it's how you deal with the the different situation and you know obviously having the mask and and being safe with things like that it's those little things that will go a long way. But, um, you know, it's, it is what it is type of thing. I mean, you can't – there's some things that you can control and some things you can't. And so the things that are out of our control, you try not to think too much about. But at the, uh, at the end of the day, you want to be safe and, and guys are going home to their families. So it's um, – you know, there's a fine line there. But I think the NFL has done a great job of – you know, I mean, I can't tell you how many precautions we're taking, the testing, uh, being six feet apart. I mean, there's a million things that go into it. But – it's uh, it's been good so far. Hey, uh, Jimmy, this is Eric Branch. Um, you, we have not talked to you in this type of group setting since uh, just after the Super Bowl. You've been requested. Um, so uh, just wondering, why haven't we talked to you? Uh, I assume the request got back to you. And, you know, I do know, you know, anticipating maybe part of your answer, um, that you don't want to separate yourself, you know, as like, hey, I am the quarterback, you know, from your teammates. and. If that's part of the reasoning, how do you balance, you know, that desire with, you know, being the franchise quarterback and, um, you know, somewhat of a team spokesman? Yeah, I think uh, obviously a fine line there. But, uh, yeah, I never like to, you know, put my set of myself ahead of anyone or anything like that. But, um, I mean, Bob never gave me those requests, so you're, you're going to have to talk to him about that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was a different type of offseason, though. But, uh, you know, it was um, – I don't know. I'm glad I'm talking to you guys now. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, it's, it's Nick here. Um, 
Kyle Shanahan said recently on a podcast that last year he felt like was a, was a good kind of foundation for you, that you finally got those 16 games under your belt and that you could really take a big step forward this year. I'm curious how much, looking back, you think it helped to finally get that box kind of checked off and also what it would look like if you are able to take a step forward next year specifically. What are areas of your game that you think could elevate? Uh, yeah, well, I think having my first full season under my belt, uh, you know, coming off the ACL and everything like that, I mean, everything that went into that season, uh, it will only help me going forward. So I think, um, you know, in, in terms of being a quarterback, you know, I still have a long way to go. I'm still, you know, pretty relatively young for a quarterback just as, in terms of playing time. So I think, uh, you know, as a quarterback, you got to get out there, get the reps, play, uh, get in the live action like that. And I think having a full season under about my belt will uh, help me going forward. Hey, Jimmy, this is David Lombardi. I wanted to ask more of a big picture question, kind of reflecting back on when you first came to the 49ers in 2017. Playbook was all new. Teammates were all new. And since then, you've been building, but the team has also been building. I'm wondering if you've you know, just noticed a trend that the, that the front office has done a good job, bad job, medium job at uh, building you know, an offense around you and your skill set. Do you feel that, that that has really fallen into place, that the receivers and the linemen and everybody match what you do well absolutely yeah I think uh the speed that we bring in especially in the offensive skill group I love that you know that helps with the run after catch and you know it makes my job a little more tough getting them the ball on and on time and accurately it's uh it's a little different with speedsters like that but it's a luxury that I love to have and so uh yeah I think Kyle and John and the whole front office I mean just bringing in good people people that work hard people that you know all think relatively the same. I think that's uh, it's a big key to our success. And, you know, bringing in uh, the new old linemen, uh, bringing Trent, Tom, it's, uh, it's a great group up front. And those guys, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, I love having them. And they're just, uh, <laughs> it's, been, it's been fun so far. Hey, Jimmy, it's Jennifer Lee Chan. Uh, this is the first time we've spoken to you since Joe Staley retired. So can you give us, you know, your favorite Joe Staley memory? And then also, how is your transition going to be, you know, with this kind of shortened offseason adjusting to Trent Williams? That's a tough one. Favorite Joe Staley. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of one off the top. I mean, when I, when I first got here, uh, Joe was one of the first guys in the locker room. What was it? The Joe Show, I think it was called. Uh, I really didn't even know Joe at the time. We were, we were singing a song together and everything. I'm sure you guys have seen the video, but he was, uh, Joe was always a guy who's wide open arms right away. Uh, very, very upfront, very cool with me from the get go. And I always appreciated him for that. And we'll miss him in the locker room. You know, his, his character, it's, uh, it's unmatched. But uh, what was the second part of the question? Sorry. Uh, just how with the short off season adjusting to Trent Williams, different pieces on the offensive line. How is that going to work for you? Yeah, I think. Uh, well, yesterday was kind of our first day uh, getting back into it. Uh, start starting from day one install, and it'll uh, it'll build from here. But it, it's different training camp than usual, so we got to build quickly, uh, build that chemistry and everything. And you know, I think uh, everyone's on the same playing field, so we just got to take advantage of it. Hey, Jimmy, it's Tracy Sandler. Can you talk a little bit about the new COVID protocols and how you are adjusting to them? And then as a follow-up, can you also talk about the testing process and what that's been like for you? Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's definitely different. I mean, your, your morning takes longer uh, to come in. You got to go through all the testing, uh, answer the, the survey and all that. And there's a lot of little pieces that go into it, but it's um, like anything, it's part of your routine now. And so it's, uh, just kind of get used to it and you you adapt to it. But I think uh, the biggest difference is just the, the time efficiency, I would say. I mean, you can't really go from one thing to the next uh, real fluidly. It's it's different than it was before. And so, like I said, we just have to adapt to it and, you know, make the best of the situation. Jimmy, I, I know you haven't seen a lot of Jarek McKinnon at this point, uh, but I was hoping you could sh uh, share your observations of what you have seen from him and also your recollection from what it was like with him in, in 2018, the rapport that you guys seemed to, the quick rapport that you, you guys seemed to have on the field. Yeah, Jet, I mean, being a former quarterback, uh, it's, it's kind of a, it's a rarity to have a skill position guy who sees the game like a quarterback still. And uh, Jet does a great job of that. I mean, even just throwing routes on air this off season, he, uh, he runs them differently than most running backs. And he has a feel that's like a receiver, but he feels space like a quarterback. It's, it's very unique. And uh, 
I'm excited to get him back, man. It's it's been a while. You know, we came in together, me and him, uh, when we both signed here, and it's uh, it, it's it, it's exciting to have him back. Hey, Jimmy, there, there's a lot of talk about what's going to happen if if a player tests positive, especially at the quarterback position. Uh, what are you guys doing as a group, as a position group, uh, to take, uh, you know, to mitigate the risk involved with, with such a thing? Well, the mask is the first step. Uh, this is with us everywhere we go. And then uh, just the staying six feet apart is the other big part of it. I think uh, it's easier said than done. I mean, there's, there's a lot of times, uh, especially on the field, that, you know, you're interacting with people, you're talking to people, but just uh, you try not to make it last too long, I guess. If that, I know it's, it sounds weird to even say, but <laughs> it's just, uh, I mean, these, these are the rules that we're given. So we got to make the best of the situation, adapt to it, and, you know, keep moving forward. But, you know, whatever happens, I think we'll be ready for it. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going over there? Um, I'm interested to figure out uh, what your thoughts are on playing in front of an empty stadium. How is that going to affect the game and, and, and the momentum and that whole thing? Uh, it'll be different. Uh, no silent count will be needed on the road, so that's a luxury that <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that one. But, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be different. I mean, we're going to have to – you'll have to bring your own juice. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, our, our team, that's one thing that we don't have a problem with, though. It's uh, bringing the energy. We bring it every day in practice, and, and you see it out there during training camp already. I mean, the first walkthrough was basically like a – it felt full speed. So it's uh, it's just – I don't know. It's one of those things I, – I keep saying it, but we're just going to have to adapt to it and, and uh, you know, change on the fly, I guess. And. I'm sure there'll be uh, some hiccups along the way, but you know, the the mo better we could adapt, and the more quickly we could adapt, the better. Yeah. I, well, can I ask two questions then? Uh, one, Jimmy, uh, can you just explain what the whole scenario was like when the 49ers came out and said that they were looking at Tom Brady, um, and whether Tom reached out to you on that? And then I'll, my second question is just basically how the new receivers look or the guys back like how you heard and Taylor specifically. Yeah, I think uh, you know, when all that was going on, uh, you know, you, you hear about it and things like that, but I really wasn't too worried. Uh, I'm always confident in my play and, you know, I, I know what I put out there this season and everything like that. So it's all about being confident and, uh, you know, it's just part of the business. You know, I've seen both sides of it, so I've been there. But uh as far as the new guys, it's uh, it's been exciting, you know, getting guys back who were hurt last year, uh, the rookies getting them in. I mean, there's there's some talent across the board, and so it'll uh, it'll take some time, and you know, we got to play some catch up with those guys. But it's uh, it's exciting time of year. It's good to be back. All right, thanks, all right. Folks. thanks guys. Good seeing all you.